Hey guys, this is Robsy back with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. In today's video, we will be going through Google Tasks, Today's video is sponsored by Lake Coloring Books, a fantastic coloring app for relaxing and distressing. You can color a large variety of books from their massive collection of coloring books. And they're currently having a winter magic treat that gives you one free drawing for every festive day. This holiday treat is running until December 25th. You can try out the application for free and we will have a link to it in the description down below. Tasks is a very simple and free get things done app from Google. It is the simplest task managing app we have encountered so far. Anyone with a Google account can use Google Tasks on any device. Like the other task managing apps we have gone through so far, Google Tasks homepage is also its working space. Starting from the top right corner, you have your Google account details and the bottom toolbar has only three icons. That is some next level minimalist approach and it means organization in this application is pretty straightforward. To create a new list, tap the three bars icon. This is where you see all the lists you have in the application. A list in a task managing app is a group of tasks. Let's start by creating a new list and call it trial. You can name your list in Google Task, and that's about it. Not very exciting, but you will love this application if you're a minimalist. Once your list is ready, you can start adding tasks to it. You can name your new task, add some text details, pick a date, and set time for your edit task. You can choose to repeat your task every day, every week on that day, every month on that day, every month on that date, every year, every weekday, Monday to Friday. Every week on that day means if you're creating this task on a Monday, for example, Google Task will give you the option to repeat this task every Monday. If that Monday is the second Monday of that month, you get the option to repeat the task every month on the second Monday. And if that Monday is the 14th day of the month, Google Task has the option to repeat the task every month on day 14. You can customize your repeating frequencies to every couple of days, weeks, months, years. You can repeat tasks every couple of weeks on specific days, months on the first, second, third, fourth, or last day which could be any day between Monday and Sunday. When your task is repeating in Google Task, you can't add subtasks to it. This is limiting if you want to create repeating tasks with subtasks in them. In this app, you either repeat a task or add subtasks to it. To add a new subtask, you have to keep tapping the add subtask icon. Let's hope in the future we can get to add new tasks using the enter key on the keyboard. It is faster and more convenient. In Google Tasks, you can set dates and add details for your subtasks. That is very cool indeed. If your task has a deadline, perhaps subtasks might have deadlines too, right? We love Google Tasks for that. Google Tasks sends you notifications for the date and time you schedule your tasks naturally. But when you set a date without a specific time, the application will send you notifications at 9 a.m. You can decide if this is a good thing or an annoyance. In this editing window, you can delete your task, mark it as complete, or move it to a different list. This is the only window in the application that lets you delete tasks from your list. You have to open the task and then delete it. For a minimalist app, Google Task has too many steps for doing some very simple tasks that most applications would do with simpler and faster gestures or single steps. And this can make the application a bit unpleasant to use. You can rearrange your tasks by dragging and dropping them to where you want them. As you complete your tasks, the application moves them to the bottom of the page under a subheading, completed. Your task is ticked off and struck out. This is pleasant to see. You can untick your tasks to mark them as incomplete. 
The three dots icon lets you sort your tasks by order or date. Rename list. Delete list. Delete all completed tasks. Copy reminders to tasks. You can sort your tasks by my order to view your tasks in the order you created them in, starting from the newest to the oldest task you created in the application. If you sort your tasks by date, the application shows them in a chronological order from past to future. This view disrupts the tasks and their subtask hierarchy. You can rename list or delete list. Something to note about Google Tasks, you can't delete the app's default list. The default list is the list first created by the application when you started using it. Even if you rename this, you will not have the option to delete it. You can delete all completed tasks if toggling them away is not enough for you. The app doesn't delete repeating tasks though. Google Tasks does not have a recycle bin. We are starting to feel get things done applications have probably normalized this. When you delete anything in the application, you lose it forever. If you have reminders in Google Calendar, you can copy them to tasks to see all your to-dos in one place using this copy reminders to tasks feature. The app has no settings to change your user interface they just have a list of all the Google apps. This is minimalism on another level. No settings whatsoever for this application. If you're looking for a super simple get things done application, this is probably the simplest you can go. And it works great when you're already using Google apps, which we will be getting into as we cover more Google apps in the coming videos. That is all for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.